mining companies under the Ghana Chamber of Mines generally have sound relationships with the host communities. We teachers who have benefited in a way that at the end of every month, at least we get packages, that incentive packages, a percentage of your salary is given to you as a morale or motivation. For that matter, in fact, it also helps you to improve upon your academic and then professional standards. Your mass scholarship, the committee, for instance, you see, I say, you have many people 240 scholarship. It be our tertiary, it be our secondary level. On the wall, nursing team, any idea. In terms of all the districts in the country, our district, the Brimnum district, was eighth best last year in terms of BEC performance. So we all pride ourselves with the little contribution we are also making to help improve academic performance in the communities. That is with the Equip program. The enrollment has increased for about 40 percent since we had the new structure being constructed by the NAGDEF. There's another program we are also calling ASSIST. Achieve soft skills improvement uh, and sustainable training program. So that program basically seeks to um, create a, or build create employable skills for the the youth within our communities. The health of mine workers and members of their host communities is a key element in mining. Before this facility, they, they were having some TB. When they go, uh, as a delivery, they will cut the cord. They use the same scissors, they don't sterilize it. But it's, it has been reduced. People come here after bed, we give them the vitamin K so that they don't lead a lot. They come here and we, we also talk to them about family planning. Because that time, Especially up in front. Before I walk can be a cassia and fano quite tiku. That time the crab force will be a colour out in Bacon, one ticket in Pana or Bano, I don't know, I shall know. But it's your mobile, I say, Sano Manina, I say, a sweet. Most babies cannot survive within the first two or three hours after delivery. And this needs a lot of uh, attention. So we contracted uh, experts from Canada and America, and they came and trained our nurses and midwives within the area so that they can resuscitate kids who are suffering from some of these uh, uh, abnormalities during delivery. There are many unique social projects run by communities that demonstrate the innovative approach used in delivering essential services to the people. For instance, the Golden Star Bogoso Prestia Locums Initiative. The Locums is a, a product of a company policy to bring local residents who own companies that provide services that can be incorporated into the Godisa Bogoso Pistia operations. A couple of locals here, 15 companies came together to form and these 15 companies has got a lot of tracks. Everybody has got its quota. And from there too, you have employed drivers in the community, you have employed women who cook for the drivers, you have employed porters, those who are to be stopping the cars, directing the cars, where to stop, to go, then these are some people that we have employed in the community. But a lot of work is being done to ensure the country benefits immensely from the mineral resources. Government's collaborations are key. You cannot work without actually having a cordial relationship with your host community. We are doing the best that we could do to ensure harmony, to ensure safety, to ensure you know, togetherness and cordiality and cooperation within the community. We have good relationship with the chiefs, we have good relationship with the Omohene and with the various stakeholders of the community. I would want to see our communities benefiting more from our operations and um, I would want to see Ghana playing a, a leading role in the ECOWAS Federation. We have the development, uh, the Minerals Development Fund already, and this is a fund established 
purposely to take care of the mining communities and 20% of the royalties is expected to go into that fund. Uh, if we continue to spend the revenue the way we've done in time past on recurrent expenditure, then definitely uh, will worsen the social conditions and people will rise up against the companies, the companies they see, not the government. We wish the Chamber a happy 90th anniversary. We are by far one of the oldest uh, private sector organizations. We've grown a lot over the years. But it's important that as we look into the future in the next 90 years, we continue to work very collaboratively and constructively with our key stakeholders. Long live Mother Ghana, long live the mining industry, and long live the Ghana Chamber of Mines.